Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nina. If you are new here, I have not picked up my camera to vlog in like a week. I just haven't been feeling in the mood to vlog and edit the videos, which is a lot of work. And honestly, I've been so busy just with like, you know, my other job at the hospital, making content, editing reels for Instagram. It's just so much work and also I've been in my head a lot lately and I just needed some time off from YouTube so I took like a week off um, but I haven't even edited my last video yet which is the week in my life as a transgender woman but if you're watching this video it should be up by now and if you're new I am a transgender woman I'm a registered nurse. I honestly do it all. Content creator, fashion, lifestyle, everything. I'm going on a date today, literally in two hours. It is already Monday, March 4th. Cannot believe it's already March. I'm honestly not even sure if I want to post this vlog yet because I know like going on dates is like a private part of my life but since I'm blogging everything about my life I want to share these moments with you guys and let you know how it is today as a transgender woman it's really tough out there and to be honest I have not been on a date in quite a while since last year I know I did say that I wasn't going on dates anymore but you know what I am feeling fine now and I'm feeling confident about this date that I wanted to like pick up the camera and vlog for you guys but I wasn't feeling my best this morning when I woke up because I was just in my head going on a date as a transgender woman it gives me so much anxiety just because I get in my head I think that you know the person might cancel because it happens so much like people cancel on transgender women all the time. I'm sure cisgender women um, go through that as well, but um, I'm talking about my case as a transgender woman. I think the last time I was supposed to go on a date, um, my date canceled last minute, and yeah, I was just like, you know what? I'm not doing this again, but it's been a month since that, and honestly, it takes a toll on your mental health, you know, like going through all these feelings, and just also the day off, you don't know what's gonna happen. Uh, I was in my head this morning, I was like, oh my God, what if he cancels? And I'm just like changing my whole day, my routine just for this day, you know? And I wasn't feeling my best this morning, but I was just like, you know what? We are going to change the mindset and we're going to think positive. He texted me this morning. He's very sweet and a gentleman and very polite and i love that about him so that's why i accepted for to go on this date and he said good morning this morning and i was just in my head because like he was texting more this weekend and today he was a little short but that's because he was busy so i understand it and he texted me this morning um and i texted him around two and i was like hey are we still going on this day just want to make sure before i start getting ready because Honestly, I hate to like get ready and then something happens last minute and you know the day gets canceled. He also, he lives like closer to DC area. So I live in Baltimore if you're new and to be honest, usually I ask my dates to come around here. I don't really date guys that live that far away just because of that reason. I don't wanna like, you know, drive too far and they get the date gets canceled or something comes up. This time around, we are meeting halfway. I never do this. Usually I go on dates around here in Baltimore. So we're gonna meet up in Colombia. Uh, Seasons 52, I think is the name of the restaurant. We're just gonna have like a drink and you know, see what the vibe is about i honestly don't even know what's gonna happen out of this date but we're just doing it for fun uh, we're going to do our makeup together we're going to choose an outfit for the date i already pulled out some stuff over there as you can see so you guys can help me choose and see what feels best for the date i don't want to like 
put on something to succeed because you know it's the first day you don't want to like give it all you want to look a little presentable don't be showing off all your goodies on your first date so we're gonna do that put our makeup together so i wanted to vlog this experience because i know i'm not the only one that feels this way um dating as a transgender woman and also hopefully other people can relate to this video and if you have any questions or comments please leave them below i wanted to show you some goodies that i purchased this weekend from sephora that i've been loving and also some replacements so this is the hairbrush from day this brand is amazing they have amazing uh hair products and this brush is amazing it feels really nice the color is gorgeous perfect for your hair um it's vegan it helps detangle and style um it says entirely made of vegan materials this brush can be used on wet or dry hair to detangle and style and honestly i tried this before and i'm obsessed with this brush and i somehow lost it i don't know where but it feels amazing it's literally like feels like a barbie brush to be honest I also purchased this hand sanitizer uh, from the brand Touchland. It's like a glow mist. I never tried this uh, flavor or scent. I don't know how you say it. But uh, it's called the Rosewater Glow Mist. So we'll see how that one is. I purchased also this Tom Ford Shimmering Body Oil. It smells amazing. I might use it today just for like a little glow if I'm showing off a little skin up here. Um, I'll test it with you guys, but let's let's just open her so you guys can see. So yes, I'm getting I'm about to start getting ready. I already shower for the date. Wash my hair. You know it's crazy because when you go on dates, you literally change your whole day to fit in this date so like i usually will work out in the afternoons but i went to work out this morning instead of the afternoon so i hate when like something comes up and they cancel the date on you because you literally change your whole routine to fit in this date and i just hate to like go on so many dates that's why i'm very selective on the dates that i go on because if i see a red flag i honestly just don't even go on the date because i don't have time for that i don't want to just go on a date for a free meal or a drink i can buy all that myself but here's a tom for body oil and let me show you if you can see uh, Look at this shimmer. It smells amazing. So that's that. What else do we have on here? I ordered a replacement of this Lancome Idol Lash Mascara because I had it already. I run now and it's very old, the one I have, so I just threw it away. And this one is like, you know, like iconic everyone has this one and raves about it so we're gonna use this today for a date i ordered this dior rosy glow um, blush i already have it in the pink color but i heard so many good things about the rosy glow number 12 rosewood is the color here she is and we're gonna try this one today too gorgeous a lady bowl to face lip liner but i think i'm gonna return it because i tried it and it doesn't really work well on my skin maybe on someone else but i just don't like it and i don't think i'm gonna keep it but i might not return it who knows i sometimes forget and then this cloudali face mist smells like eucalyptus and it's very refreshing a little beauty exhaler and it like literally wakes you up when you like put a little mist on your face 
Mmm, smells amazing too. I also purchased two lip plumpers from Fenty Beauty. They are the Gloss Bomb Heat and plumpers. And one is in the shade Fenty Glow Heat and the other one is Hot Chocolate Heat. I already used the number three Fenty Glow Heat over the weekend. So I don't know where I put it. I think it's in one of my purses. And then this is the one that I'm gonna use today for the date. Let's start. I'm gonna use the, the products that Giorgio Armani sent me and we're gonna add those to my makeup today and also some of the products that I show you just now. We're going to start with the Giorgio Armani Hydrating Primer. They sent me this primer and honestly I'm so thankful because I am obsessed with this primer. I'm just gonna rub it all over my face. Smells amazing, honestly. I'm gonna put a little pain on my hair. That I went to Starbucks today and I was ordering the pistachio latte and the girl could not understand my accent. She literally told me, oh, sorry, I didn't get it. Then what, that I was ordering the pistachio latte because I was in pistachio and apparently it's pistachio or something like that. I'm not really sure, but it took a while for her to get what I was trying to tell her that I was ordering. It was literally on the picture panel there. I was like, that, that's what I want, the pistachio latte. So we did the primer, now we're gonna do the Jammy Skin Glow Serum by Danessa Myricks. I already use this so much in my vlog, so you are probably familiar. And I just use my fingers to massage it on my face, just like the primer. And also this brand called PMD Beauty sent me this gorgeous mirror and I've been using it so much. And I'm gonna show you now what it is about. So it's this mirror that you can see here and you can charge it in the back. It comes with a little charger and what it does is you can turn it on and you can change the settings of the light that you like. I like it on that one. And you can also take it off and just grab it in your hand and do your makeup with it. And I'm obsessed because it also like gives you a little lightning, you know, it's so cool. So I've been using that a lot. Thank you PMD Beauty for sending me the most amazing mirror. I don't know why, but these clips are not working today. They're not clipping. Am I doing something wrong? I don't know what it is, but I'm always dating guys in the military. I don't know why they love transgender women. And you know what? I'm not mad about it. So we're gonna do my eyebrows with a refi. Eyebrow gel is my favorite and they just came out with a um, mascara, but I didn't see it at the store because I really wanted to purchase it. So let's do this. Eyebrow, let's do the eyebrows. And this is why I love this mirror because you can see all the imperfections and it's everything. It has this little corner here too, if you want to magnify your, you know, what you're looking at. It's like five times magnification, I think. And you can like use your tweezer to take all the hair that you have on your face, the random hairs that I hate. Okay, so I switch it to the brush and we're gonna brush the eyebrows up. I think I need to get my eyebrows laminated again because they're not like staying up. At least this not this end right here is not staying up as I want it to. I don't think I ever been to Seasons 52, which is where my date is. Hopefully it's good. I mean, I think the drinks are good because I looked at the I looked at the reviews and they had really good reviews. All right, so now we're ready for foundation. We're going to use the Giorgio Armani Foundation Luminous Silk Perfect Glow Flawless Foundation in the shade 8.75. So thankful for Giorgio Armani for sending me all this foundation because you guys know foundation and concealer is expensive. 
and the primer so all three of those that they sent me is probably worth like you know two hundred dollars okay so this is a little darker than my skin color but i chose this shade just because you know it's already march and summer is just going to be around the corner soon and i'm gonna get tan and i rather just have this for the summer it's the it cosmetics brush uh, for foundation i love this brush and we're just gonna put the foundation everywhere just gotta be careful around your eyebrows just because i already did my eyebrows and i don't want to mess them up but i'll show you at the end what i used to darken my eyebrows a little bit i don't know if i'm gonna record during the day but i'll get some footage for you guys just because i don't really want to have my camera up in his face i'll just get like clips of what we eat maybe i'll go to the bathroom and give you updates during the date what i like about him is that he is a tall guy he's 6'4 i'm like 6'1 so that works out perfect for me and the weather is so nice outside it's like 60 degrees in march i don't know what's going on with this weather but it kind of like confused me a little bit because then i was like do i bring a jacket do I bring a blazer? I don't know because sometimes inside the restaurant it's a little chilly. So we're going with my hourglass concealer next. I love this concealer. It's in the color Dune Banish. This concealer is my favorite. I just hate that it spills a lot. So you'll have a lot of that always. So I go there, there, a little bit here, here here and we can put a little bit here there and there and that's it we're gonna use my hourglass concealer brush And we're just going to conceal everything. Some people like to wait during this part and just let it sit for a little bit. I honestly don't. I just do it. Well, I am off the rest of the week except the weekend. So I'm going to try to edit the other vlog tomorrow. Because honestly, I've been slacking with my YouTube channel. My YouTube is so hard to grow though. I don't know why. It's harder to grow than other platforms to be honest but i've been posting a lot of um youtube shorts so go check those out if you want to see what i've been up to also follow me on instagram at nina patron 89 okay so i went and wetted my brush which is the step that i hate because sometimes i don't use my brush just because i hate that step and i'm just gonna go over everything i seen that some girls have um a little spray with water like a water spray bottle and they just have it on their beauty desk and spray their sponge we're gonna do a little contouring next with this um uh, stick contour from westman atelier i learned about this product from my favorite influencer her name is tamara how gorgeous is this stick and i trust everything she says because she it's so good at everything. I'm gonna put a little bit here, a little bit here, here. I think that's enough. And I'm gonna go over everything with my new Refi brush. Not really sure, but you'll see if you go to Sephora, you'll see this brush. I don't know what's called. So I'm gonna. And I would put some on my neck too, but since it's gonna, it's just like a day, I don't wanna look too kicky, but you can bring it down here too. I'm going to do my eyes, and I'm just going to use my Makeup by Ariel brushes. Love these brushes. If you can get your hands on them, they are so freaking good. I had them for a year now. I this is my second time buying them because I had them before. 
my uh, makeup by Mario palette. This one is the best, so I choose this two right here. Just for the base. And then we're gonna go up for, you know, like a darker brownish color. Right, so now we're gonna use this shade over here and then this one just mix those two and do the outer corners use some of the shimmery colors I think I'm gonna go with this one in the middle they have names but honestly you know what I'm doing We're going to do the blush next. This is the Saye blush in the color Chili Dewy Blush. And I'm gonna use my Refi, this end over here for the blush. So I use this one for the contouring and the other one for the blush. And we're gonna use the new. Um, Dior as well to go over it. This one is the Dior Rossi Glow. Just to give it a little, you know, Rossi Glow, I guess. Rosewood Glow. <laughs> Rosewood, not Rossi Glow. For a little highlighter, we're going to use my Christian Dior highlighter. And this one is in the Golden Glow. A little highlighter there. Perfect. We're gonna do my eyelashes next with my Idol mascara, as you can see. And then this, I got it from Sephora. I'm not really sure what the name of this is. Oh, it's the She Shiseido Eyebrow Curler. Look, I have the old one. This is the old one. How come the old one was bigger? And this is a smaller. Because I'm pretty sure I bought a full size one. Not sure why. But this is the hardest step because you can F it up if you don't do it right. So let's do this. All right, eyelashes are done. I did a pretty good job, I think. I'm obsessed with this mascara. It was just sitting in my drawer and I stopped using it for a couple years. I don't know why, because it's amazing and it doesn't like leave your eyelashes clumpy, which I hate. Guys, my camera dies, so I'm just using my iPhone at the moment. So I'm not sure if you're gonna notice the difference. But I'm going over my lips with my Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk 3 Intense Obsessed with any brown lip liners, to be honest. MAC has some really good ones as well. Alright, so next we are going to use this new Anastasia Beverly Hills. Pure Hollywood and the shade is Lip Velvet. Obsessed. It's very like matte, but if you mix it with a little Fenty Glow that I'm gonna show you, it's amazing. And I don't put too much of this because it literally stains your lips. So just like in the middle. And it looks like this, but I'm gonna fix it with more lip liner in a little bit so you can see. We're gonna go next with this Huda Beauty in the shade Habibi. Obsessed with this color. Mm. And we're gonna do the Fenty Hot Chocolate Chocolate Heat in number four. And this is what's gonna put the magic in your lips. Uh-huh. 
see the difference? You can also leave it like this, but this, this is amazing. And that's it. Not too much, just a little bit. Let's just do the setting spray, the Charlotte Tilbury uh, airbrush setting spray. Ooh. Just to lock everything in place. And let me show you my outfit options so you guys can see. Yeah, I don't think I'm forgetting anything. These are some options for tops. Definitely want to wear this because, you know, some tights and this. And either this turtleneck from H&M or this Aritzia bodysuit. But I think I'm feeling the Aritzia bodysuit more just because it's nice weather outside. And obviously one of my skims under it and some tights. And I'll show you the boots in a little. The mess that I just made in the back. But we are ready. This is the outfit. I decided for this top from Aritzia just because it's like in the 60s outside and I don't wanna like, you know, wear a turtleneck. My Heaven Mayhem earrings. Uh, this is the final makeup look. And honestly, I'm just wearing my natural hair, just air dry after I washed it earlier just because I want to look my natural self. I don't want to like look too fake, you know, like dolled up, all hair done for a, the first date. I don't want to give it all. So that's just me. I don't know about you, but I think I look cute with this cute little leather shorts. I'm really sure about them at first, but then I was like, you know what? Why not? I'm going to put this blazer from Sarah just in case it gets cold outside. And obviously, my YSL bag. And that's the look for the date. What do you guys think? I'm gonna put some of this Tom Four Body Glow Oil or whatever it's called before I go on my legs. I was gonna wear tights, but I decided not to just because you know, um, it might be too much for the first date, so. And the weather is nice, like I said. And I'm wearing my Stuart Witzman, um boots, and these shorts are also from Sarah as well, just like this blazer. But see the glow? No glow, glow. So definitely loving this Tom Ford body oil. And I can even put some glow around my neck. And I'm gonna use the Paradox Intense Perfume from Prada. They sent me this, so I have to use it. It's my favorite, to be honest. Smells so good. So they sent me a pink one and a red one, and this one is my favorite. It smells amazing. Natural hair. Not too much makeup. You know, not trying too hard, right? What do you guys think? But let's go because it's gonna take us half an hour to get there. We're going to this restaurant called Seasons 52 in Columbia, Maryland. Let's go. I saw you from across the room. Met, I never knew that I could feel this way, and it's kind of strange. Don't even know your name. I don't know you, but I just got here, about to park. I'm a little nervous, I'm not gonna lie. I hope I'm not like too overly dressed, you know. Because I always like to like look nice, so I overdress a little bit maybe, but for Maryland, you know, because people here don't really dress up that much. Um, but anyways, wish me luck, about to walk in, let's do this. Put my jacket on and retouch my makeup a little bit.
just a little bit. All right, we are doing this. <sighs> Let's go. Thank God I brought a little laser because it's cold now. It was literally hot earlier. Season 52, here we come. Get to know you. Just want to get to know you. just took a bathroom break just to wanted to go shop with you guys the day is going well we ordered some apps had a couple drinks and we're staying extra longer so just wanted to give you a little update came to retouch my makeup a little bit From five guys. Guys, I am back home already in my PJs. It's been actually a few hours since I got back. But let's do a little recap of how the date went. So I drove half an hour to meet him because that's like the midpoint. He lives like a little farther out. So he drove 40 minutes and I drove half an hour. And our midpoint was in Columbia, Maryland. Uh, we went to the 52 seasons or no season 52 restaurant or something like that uh but anyway so i got there like five to ten minutes late so i texted him that i was running a little late um so i got in i ran to the bathroom because i had to pee i was like oh, i'm sorry i have to pee so bad um so i went to the bathroom came back you know we hugged and everything we sat at the bar um he was drinking i forgot what drink he was like an old-fashioned and i ordered an espresso martini we literally talked for three hours non-stop i was there from five to eight i think and the conversation was just flowing we were getting to know each other he was so sweet he was a gentleman like pulled the chair out for me when i came back from the bathroom he was just so sweet and like a true man and i love that that's why i haven't been on dates lately because all the guys that i've been you know like close to get, going on a date with usually there's like red flags and i just like kind of like a match them or something like that so i stopped talking to them that they went very well obviously i'm not like in love or anything already uh, for sure not he wasn't really my type on pen and paper but he was tall he was you know like muscular he asked so many questions and he asked about my family where i was from and I just love everything that, you know, he was doing. True gentleman, walked me to my car. Um, we might have had a little kiss. And, you know, we're already talking about maybe a possible future date. Nothing in set in stone yet. But if it happens, it'll happen. I'm just... I was just worrying this morning for nothing uh, and being all anxious about this date, you know, because last time I went on a date or I was supposed to go on a date was like a couple months ago and the guy ended up canceling on me last minute. So that's why I was a little concerned today and anxious about going on another date, but I was just worried for nothing. Uh, he was very sweet. He already texted me after um, I came back home 
and who knows what's gonna happen i'm just happy that i did it and i put myself out there again because you know i told myself that i wasn't going on a day again um a few blocks ago but anyways and then i came home and i ordered um five guys because i was craving a cheeseburger and honestly we ate appetizers but then i got hungry again later because you know we were there for three hours um and we also had like a little dessert at the end of the date so it was a really nice date definitely for sure um i ordered five guys when i came back home now i'm just in my bed um getting ready for bed but i hope you guys enjoy um this uh little vlog of my date uh if you have any questions or comments leave them below i love you guys don't forget to subscribe follow me on instagram and tiktok at nina patron 89 i'll see you on the next vlog Mwah.